When we lived in a city, this is the kind of food we used to eat. You love this. But then once we got our sailboat, we binge watched spearfishing channels like Key West Waterman or Aquatic Ape. And today, we get to do that. Two schoolmasters. It's not their level yet, but hey, we gotta start somewhere. But first, let's take you back a week earlier to show you the first time we eat off our catch in the Bahamas. Catch and cook, baby. In more than 10 seconds without feeling like I'm about to pass out. Spearfishing is the same as any other sport. What are you doing? no way in any way, shape, or form <laughs> how spearfishing works. However, he wants to shoot yeah, those fish that we see on the reefs. So, first step is to find a Hawaiian pierce bowl. Second step, educating. Max is pretty good at spotting the fish, so he kind of knows already what he can spearfish and not. Yeah, next step is to catch a fish. And we're sailing, baby! We're on the Atlantic side, it's much deeper because we're trying to catch fish and we're trolling right now. There must be fish because these two fishermen are right behind us. And I'm sure they're seeing something with their sonar that we're not seeing and hopefully we can find and catch some fish. Wow, he's so close I could throw a stone at him and it would land on his boat. Come on, there must be fishies. I could do with a while I haven't eaten one of them since 2017. <laughs> I think 2017 is the last time I had a wahoo. Yeah, I can't be greedy. You just you eat whatever you get. Yeah. We just came through a really narrow cut when we're getting swells like that on a low tide. Don't want to be doing that too often. But we're through now. We've got a beautiful anchorage we're going to anchor up in. We're going to catch dinner. We've arrived to the anchorage. We have our anchor alarm on. We're hanging around for an hour, making sure we're not dragging. And then we're heading off. Look at what Max just caught us. So hey guys, I'm just back from six hours in the water searching for food that's edible and uh, couldn't find much but uh, we did manage to end get the half of a lobster it really got trapped in there and it was like a tug of war and eventually just the back ripped off him and I tried getting the rest but I think the groupers will enjoy a little snack and we got ourselves the Caribbean green crab so we're gonna be eating gourmet tonight let's let's have a little look at them Caribbean king crab and uh, that's the rest of the lobster. So we're very happy today with today's find. Uh, you know, we, we, we did troll, we didn't find the mahi-mahi, but we did find the lobster and we did find the Caribbean king crab. So I'm happy. Some lobster, some crab, a beautiful boyfriend. And we're getting ready for some dinner. Your girl got some sun today. It smells delicious. The crab. And it loves the all. Wow. Just had our first bite, guys. It's freaking delicious. We're making a. We don't have any lobster. Um. Smasher. Smasher. So we're using garlic crusher. Mmm. What would you rate oh. that crab? This is the best crab I've had in my life. Try it, babe. I've actually never had that much crab. I've only had crab in like Chinese dim sum rolls. Mm. But first time for everything. The um, garlic press didn't really work. Bang it. The hammer does. So I don't know about you guys, but I've heard that you don't eat this. I don't know what I would do. I don't know how to eat it. It just seems waste it hey guys so today we need some food I've been practicing my Hawaiian sling moves we, we gave the last of our fish to uh, a lovely couple who hosted us for dinner so we have no more no more fish we uh, have some tin, tin tuna got some beans but no nice fresh fish since we're in the Bahamas, you can basically drop anchor wherever you want. And hopefully there'll be maybe a little coral head nearby that we can go hunting on. I'm hopefully aiming to get some snappers. So I know there's a lot of schoolmasters. That's what I've mainly been hunting is, is schoolmaster snapper. I've seen some mutton heads and a couple of Nassau groupers, but the season for Nassau groupers doesn't start 
for another five or six days here in Bahamas. So we're gonna be aiming for schoolmasters. We anchored next to this beautiful little island, uh, uninhabited. We might even be able to do a little fire tonight. Touch and cook, our first one. Let's go. So when I first was researching Hawaiian slings and pole spears, I never heard of, heard of them. I was just getting mixed up and I think on the internet they're just, they're kind of synonymous. People kind of just call them the same thing when then I don't think they are. Um, a pole spear is something you kind of use with one hand and you have a little band and it kind of goes around, it's, you know, it's more of a one-handed thing. And a Hawaiian sling is kind of like an underwater bow and arrow or slingshot, I guess, and you use this little thing to launch a spear out of this little hole. Kind of like a bow and arrow. Thank you for the coffee, babes. You're welcome. What are you doing? Well, as you know, what it will get in your mask if you have any facial hair. So, uh, you know, I, I wanted to have like a big Jebediah beard, you know, big Jebediah beard, but then I can shave here for the mask, but I'm not allowed to do that, so. You are. No, money doesn't find me attractive. I prefer these <laughs> over the disposables, because there's no plastic. The, the razors come in little paper th cartons, and this is metal, and you know, you have this for life. Mmm, win-win. Just got back from uh, a good huh? two hours of uh, spear fishing, and as we were bringing all the stuff back on the boat, I dropped my phone in the water. So let's see if this rice hack actually works. We're gonna eat two schoolmasters. I should have actually gutted all these in the water. Last one going in the taco bag. Which is, means tacos for later, which whatever that is. And for my part, I've been on mission fire. For now, she's doing well. And while that heats up, I'm gonna go get some more wood. We don't wanna run out in the middle of, of cooking fish, do we now? <laughs> Time to crack open a little Budweiser. Cheers. Cheers. It's a lovely day yep. of hunting, cooking, living right, as they say. Check out this bay, guys. This is what it's all about. Having your own little bay and uh, enjoying the life. We're going to have to move out tomorrow because of the wind, but for now, this is paradisely home. Home in paradise. Thank you. 
I'm gonna attempt my first conch ceviche. Ceviche? Mm. Conch fritter? I have no idea. I don't, I don't know what they eat it. Should I have researched it before? I'll try. I got this big conch. You gotta try it. Come on, babes. You killed a chicken. Don't break them. They break the shell? Yeah. No, they don't. They just knock the shell until it comes out, right? I saw the guy breaking the shell. Really? But just pull it out. I guess you just fry, fry them up. Can you help me pull it out? I don't want to touch that, babe. I told you once. I caught him. This is your duty. I can touch fish. But anything that's like that is just insane. Okay, I think I'm going to put the, the heat the pan up. Okay? Yeah. Oh, the rock broke. What? The rock broke from the heat. There are my birds. I can hear them. But you do realize you want the heat, not flames. I do. But I yeah, guess you have a pan, it doesn't matter actually. Are you gonna put the fish directly over there? Yeah. Oh my god, that's the ugliest thing in the world. I hope we anchored far enough away that we don't have no CMs everywhere. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm getting better. Tester. How is it? Not bad. So we're gonna cook this next, and then we're gonna put the snappers on. Yeah, can I have my beer? Another thing smells so good as a open wood fire. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea, but we're just putting them on, and I guess we're gonna find out. So, conch. A success. Super success, super tasty. I, I was really doubting it. It looked so ugly and so nasty, but it's absolutely delicious. What does it compare to? Very rich, yeah. very rich. <clears throat> Ooh, nice. Let's taste it. Mmm. Good? Yeah. Cooked? Yeah. Yeah? A bit more. Okay, then put it back on. I think it needs a, a tiny bit more. Put it back on. Yeah. So obviously we've been skinning our fish here. Likusha decides to show up. Where's the lemon? Can you see the lemon? Not lemon, sorry. He's a sand shark. I'm sorry. Big sand shark. He's just collecting all my debris. Oh, he is. Look at his head. Look at some scars. Look. Oh, yeah, those fish. Yeah, that's what I mean. The, I think they're remoras, but I'm not sure. Is, it, is that him grunting? What? No. I heard him, I heard grunting. I burped. Oh. <laughs> Those schoolmasters are delicious. This is the perfect way to cook them. Can't think of a better way. Yeah, we're gonna clean up here, leave no trace, is the saying, right? Throws our fire, put some water on it. And we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna skedaddle. Okay, guys, that's it for us today. Thanks for showing up. And uh, we'll yeah, see you next week. That was our little week. catch and cook, guys. Catch and cook. Thank you for joining us. Hopefully we'll do more of these because I love... It was so fun. ...to eat fish. It was so fun. And he seems to be pretty good at it. Yeah. Hand spear king. You did so well. Bye guys, see you next week. Love you.